we have to evaluate this indefinite integral. We have ax plus b over the square root of all of this stuff uh, down here. So a good idea maybe is to start by letting u be what's inside this square root. So we'll let u be equal to ax squared plus 2bx plus c. So even if you don't see like the full solution, this is usually a good step, you know, and if it doesn't work, then, you know, you try, you try something else. Whatever's inside the square root is usually a good first attempt. Now we're going to go ahead and take the derivative of both sides here. So the derivative of u is just du. Here, the a and the b and the c are constants. So when you take this derivative, um, you just bring down the 2 here and use the power rule. So this is 2a x. Here, the derivative of x is 1, so you just get 2b. And the derivative of c is 0. And then we put a parentheses and we put a dx. Okay, so after this step, your goal is to make whatever is down here look like what's in your integrand. So we've already taken care of the bottom piece. It's going to be the square root of u, no issues there. We just have to get this piece here. So it looks like we're almost there. Um, we can pull out a 2, and I think we'll be there. Let's see. So 2, parentheses, yeah, look at that, ax plus b dx. You can pull out the 2, and everything looks good. So we just have to get rid of the 2, because there's no 2 in our integrand. So what we do is we divide both sides by 2, like this. Divide by 2, and that gives us, uh, I'm going to do it over here, 1 half du equals parentheses ax plus b dx. All right. So now we're ready to make our substitution. So this circled piece in blue is going to be here, right? It's 1 half du. So this is 1 half du, and then we're just left with 1 over the square root of u. All right, the rest of this shouldn't be too bad. Let me just come down here, get some more room. Uh, we can write the square root of u as u to the 1 half. That's a good first step. And then we can bring it upstairs, and it becomes negative. Right? We want to use the power rule for integration. So bring it up, and your exponent becomes negative. And now we can use the power rule. So we basically just add 1 to the exponent and divide by the result. So 1 half u to the, let's see, we're taking negative 1 half and we're adding 1 to that. So that's going to be negative 1 half plus 1 is 1 half. Then we're dividing by, um, by 1 half as well. And then we have the plus c. Oh, look at that. They go away. So we're left with u to the 1 half. And u, if you remember, u was way up here. It was the ax squared plus 2bx plus c. So we can write the 1 half as a square root again to make things look prettier. The final answer is square root of ax squared plus 2bx plus c. And then we have our giant capital C, which is our constant of uh, integration. So not too bad, uh, just a lot of variables. I hope this video has been helpful.